Okay, guys, we are live here. I am going to show you my strategy for getting a lot more website traffic, for getting more views with your YouTube video, getting more subscribers. As a matter of fact, I'm going to show you my workflow that I use because I hired a couple influencers, excuse me, freelancers, had influencers on my mind all morning. Uh, little bright here. Hold on. Let me tone it down. I don't want you guys to see me too good. It's early. It's about eight o'clock in the morning on a Saturday. I'm actually drinking some of my favorite coffee. Let me adjust this a little bit. Make sure you guys. Okay. Drinking some bump and grind coffee. One of my absolute favorites. And today I'm going to go over my strategy. I, I think it's a big winner. Anybody watching this now, as you guys know, um, I am the world's first hair business streamer. I've or you guys already know that. But if you're not in the hair industry, this will work for you as well. So you can share this video with any of your friends in e-commerce because this video will work. It's It can go across any industry. So that's really the key about this video. Generally, my videos are hair business-based, but you can take the principles from my videos and apply them to your business if you're not in the hair business. Unless I'm talking about like wigs specifically, right? Okay, uh, if you are here this morning, please feel free to reach out and leave a quick comment, a little good morning there. Thank you very much. Good morning, good morning. Um, so we are gonna just jump right in because it is Saturday morning. I do have a busy day today, working literally the whole day. Uh, every day, it's just every day is work right now, but that's okay because we have a purpose. So first thing I'm going to do is show you, uh, you know, it's not even trying to promote my YouTube channel, but first thing you need is a YouTube channel. Shout out to my 11,200 plus YouTube subscribers. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We got uh, TBJ Stylus 7 over here in the building. Um, so first thing you need to do, step one, 100%. Let me put the banner up here. You got to create YouTube chant content. That's the first thing. So step one, you can write these down. I know this video is live, but it's okay. If you're not watching live, uh, it'll be saved. So you can always go back. Step one, YouTube channel. I think YouTube is hands down one of the best marketing tools for your business. I am going, when I say all in on YouTube, I'm, I'm all in on YouTube now, but I'm trying to figure out how to go all in even more. Okay. This is from, I'm a marketing guy. Like, you know, I've been e-commerce almost 20 years now and I'm in the hair industry. I'm not a hairstylist. I didn't know anything about hair, but I'm good at marketing. And I've learned a lot, obviously. You guys know I'm deep in those, deep in the manufacturing streets. So step one, create YouTube channel. Um, you want to start creating good content. Don't worry if you're not putting out good content. Like every, every, Every video you make is going to get a little bit better as you as you have some practice. Like my first YouTube video was probably horrible, but it just comes over time. Uh, good morning there, uh, Keisha. Keisha does not. Keisha, let me know how do you always catch all my videos? Like, do you have it so when I post something, it sends you a notification? Like, because people need that uh, in our Facebook group. Shout out to the Hair Business Blueprint Facebook group. Real quick on that. Um, so first things first, create content, get it out there. Don't worry. Like it's not going to be perfect. Your first video is probably going to be your worst or your last video is going to be your worst. It's okay. Like I'm still learning, right? So I can create some good high quality, uh, videos, but they're not always, they're always going to get a little bit better. Like if you, for example, hair business radio podcast, if you look at the first episodes of hair business radio, holy cow, it was horrible. <laughs> Excuse me. Let me have another sip of coffee here. The Arab is radio. The first episodes look horrible, but now you look at it. We got our own podcast studio. So that's growth. That's over seven years, by the way. That did not happen overnight. Okay. Next step is going to be write a recap of the video. Now, I don't have time to do all this, guys. You know I'm busy, okay? I'm streaming every day now, so I got to find out how to buy my time back. I actually just bought a book about that. Maybe we should put that in the Facebook group. Um... So what did I do? I love freelancers. So there's many different places you can hire. Um, you can hire freelancers and Upwork is the one I use. Let me zoom this up a little bit so you can see what I wrote here. Okay, so 
Upwork is my spot. I don't like freelancer.com. I don't like fiverr.com unless maybe they sponsored me, but they don't. Nope. Upwork doesn't sponsor me. I got no sponsors. So it's just, you know, I sponsor myself basically. Okay. That's, that's all I got to say. Thank you for the person just ordered on the private label website, by the way. Um, so here we go. I am seeking someone to create blog posts based on YouTube videos and post them on my website, which is hosted on Shopify. The blog post should be around 500 words each, well-written in English, and include links, headings, bullet points, or anything else that will make them more, most valuable. The YouTube videos should be embedded in the blog post. I can create a detailed training video on uh, how to post a blog. This is absolutely key. The freelancer should be able to quickly view the YouTube videos and create written content that summarizes the information. I have a backlog of over 100 videos and a new video is published daily. This will be an ongoing project. Attached to the project are two screenshots that represent an example blog post. So I went ahead and I did a few things here. Okay, And this is what I want you guys to understand. And this is part of the workflow. And there's a few things, a few tips that you guys can learn from this. And that's why you're here today, because I'm here to give you all the tea. Um, so here we go. First things first, you gotta have a video. Next, you gotta have somebody write these. You don't have to, you can do these yourself in the beginning to save money, I get it. Now here's the key that you need to understand is if you're hiring a freelancer, you really need to make training videos you need to show them screenshots you got to give them example so i went ahead and already wrote out one published it full on amazing right took extra time doing this because i said hey this is going to be the example if you hire a freelancer right a remote worker anything like that the the reason why most of the times your relationship doesn't succeed is because you didn't properly train the person you're working with, hands down, 100%, or you get frustrated with them, right? Like they don't know your business like you. So you got to treat it like they have no idea who you are. They have no idea what your business is, everything else. This is the key to hiring freelancers. I need to make a whole video on that because this is absolutely key. Now, I made the training video. I walked it, walked them through the whole process. So during this time, I also realized that because I, I have a couple of um, freelance assistants that work for me to help get tasks done quicker. Then I realized this person's time is better spent just doing the recaps of the videos. And I can have my other assistant post them on my blog. OK, so I actually have two freelancers and I, I'm just kind of focusing. My guy's good at writing. I don't need him posting on the blog. Does that make sense? Like utilize people to the best of their of their ability and maximize their time. Could he do it? Yeah, he could do it. But, it, you know, it, it was it's not worth it. OK, my guy. And I, I'm lucky, actually, because I found on the, my first my first try, I found somebody that was was really good. Like if you go into my blog posts, which we're going to talk about, I have a bunch. I just published a few this morning. Okay. Like he does a pretty good job of these. So that's, that's great. So write a recap. Okay. Next step is create blog posts based on topic. So as you can see here, I already have a bunch of blog posts. I haven't even gotten to that yet. This guy's cruising through my content. Okay. And then my assistant. So here's the workflow is I connect my freelancer that is creating the content with my other freelancer that's posting and you create a workflow between them, get them access to some Google drive sharing. Okay. So that's why every morning she goes in and checks to see if there's any new things that he put, uh, put on there. She'll put it on here. He's messaging me say, Hey Mikey, I got some new posts coming. She's messaging me. Hey Mikey, I got some new posts on the blog. Check it out. It's ready for your review. So these are in here and ready for a review. Now let's take a quick look at one of these blog posts, right? Like how to start a hair business in 2024. If you guys seen this video, did you even leave a comment on my video? God, what do I got to do? Pulling teeth over here to get some interaction. I appreciate you guys. Real quick, though, we got a, when I see a YouTube comment, I got to throw that in there. Good morning. I'm viewing on YouTube and Facebook. I don't want to miss this info. I appreciate that. Uh, good day. Great day. Let's say great day today. 
Um, okay, so we have this now. So you can see here, all I did for this main image is I resized it for my blog, Hair Business Blueprint, by the way. Make sure you check it out. So you go through here. I had my guy. He went ahead. He put all this information in here. I added some links. Now, here's the thing. Is this blog post 100% finished? No, your blog posts are not 100% finished because if you are in, let me, let me throw it in here, give a special shout out to those that are in this. If this is your first time watching my channel, you're probably like, this guy's a little bit crazy and you're right. Um, shout out to the Hair Business Masterclass because this is a technique that I'm teaching in the masterclass because you got to get the most out of your content, guys. Okay, this is key. By the way, I have a link to the Hair Business Masterclass in the dis uh, description. Cup of coffee, literally per month at this point, because I'm just like, let me get a some, bunch of people in here. I'm building the number one community of serious entrepreneurs. Hair, a blog post is not done. So here's the strategy. We got it posted here. Okay, we can talk about this little button over here. This is in... In a couple months, I'm going to go back and I'm going to run this through my SEO program. I can run it through Google Search Console, which is free. I can see the keywords this is starting to rank for. Then I go back and start adding some additional content, build this out a little bit based on the keywords it's ranking for. That's So that's a little longer term, but that's going to help you out. Okay. Now, what you can see here is I have embedded the YouTube video. So the YouTube video, actually my assistant embedded the YouTube video. So I didn't even have to do that. This is all basically done. I even have the way he does the articles. I have it. So these are set up as headings. I taught him what the headings are. So all my assistant does is copy paste this in here. And then the code for the heading is already in there. I can do a little detailed explanation of that at another time. I'll make like a more... Uh, not a live video, a more formatted video for you guys. Edit it up. Now, here's the key for you guys. This is this is a, some a gem right here. Okay, this is a gem. If you're not watching and you're missing this, I'm sorry. This is an easy way to get additional YouTube subscribers to your channel because if you have a channel, you need subscribers, relevant subscribers. This is a little button that you can add. This is not automatically here. Now, how do you get the button? I'll throw it in the comments. This website I've been using for years to do this. Let me throw it in the comments. Okay, I'm all about giving out my tools for free so you guys know what the business is. All right, so if you want a YouTube video, uh, oh, actually, wrong, wrong page. Sorry about that. That's my uh, click to subscribe. By the way, that tool is freaking awesome. Hold on one second. Let me pull this up. Google um, YouTube subscribe button. That is the wrong tool. What am I doing? Here we go. Sorry about that. Here we go. Here is the proper tool. Let me zoom in a little bit so my viewers can see this a little better. Let me get rid of this AI assistant or whatever you, you think you are here. Okay, let me make it a little bigger. Okay, so what you need to do is put your channel name or ID. For me, I don't know why. Sometimes the channel name doesn't work. Oh, let me throw this in the comments, okay? Sometimes the channel name doesn't work. So you got to click that little ID button right here. You got to click the ID and it'll, it'll show you how to get your ID. You paste it here. Then you can change up the layout. I keep it real simple. And then it's going to give you this code. All you have to do is copy paste this code. Okay. And I can show you an example right here. I know this is real geeky, but you have your YouTube video here. Like basically right here is the YouTube video where you're going to copy paste how to do that. So we can go, let's see if we wanted to go this, you guys definitely should be watching. Okay, because there's more information there. You click share, embed, just copy this. So you're basically going to copy this, paste that there. Then you're going to copy paste the subscribe button generator, which is it's not the click to subscribe. It is this one here. So it'll give you that code. You're going to paste it here. Now, when you go and look at the editor, <clears throat> it's not going to show up here. You have to click the actual link and it shows up. Not everything shows up in the Shopify editor, okay? So I want to make sure you guys have a full understanding of that. But that's a way to get this button here. 
why wouldn't you do that? Like, that's crazy. Okay. So because people are like, oh, wow. Yeah. I can just subscribe right here. Now it's generally only going to work if they're logged in, but that's okay. Cause if they, they click it, they can log in. Okay. So at this point, now we have our blog post, we have our YouTube subscribe button. Once you get the blog post in here, what you're going to do is you're going to start adding internal and external links. Okay. So like launch your business. This is going to go over to this article here. You see, so these are internal links and then you're going to have links that go to other websites. Like if you click that, it's going to show up to private label wholesale and that's good for SEO. It's giving some SEO juice, these links. Links are a popularity contest and it's going to grow this, this, if you have multiple websites, you can actually do this for link over to your other websites, help those out, link over to you, your YouTube videos, get more subscribers. You get more watch time hours. You know, once you're monetized on YouTube, that's going to be a good thing. Okay. But basically that's what you do. So step one, let's go over it real quick. Create your YouTube content. Okay. Let me make this a little bigger. I go, I don't know why everyone's texting me this morning. Okay. Step one, create YouTube content, right? Put it on your YouTube page. Step two, you write a recap that can either be you or you can hire a freelancer, write a recap. Step three, create a blog post on the topic. So you're going to go in if you have Shopify, WordPress, Wix, whatever, it doesn't matter. You can use this with all platforms. Step four, embed the video. By the way, if you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comments while you got my attention. Step five is add a subscribe button to YouTube. I'm going to add, I had step six is just be consistent because that is my overall message as an entrepreneur that I give you guys all the time. Like I'm just like be consistent. Okay. Um, step seven, let me add a step seven will be review SEO after let's say three months. Let's give it three months. Okay. So let me just add that banner and put it up. Review the SEO after three months. Now this hair business blueprint website is not real powerful. It's not powerful at all because I haven't, I've had it for a few years, but it was the main focus was my book. Okay. Fearless beauty, the hair business blueprint. Now it's a lot more focused on my YouTube channel, how to start a hair business and everything else. So I am quickly rapidly adding content to the site. So I will start getting more keywords in Google, in YouTube and everywhere else but it's going to take some time. Now, if I did this on private label, right, which is a very powerful website, shout out to everybody that knows private label extensions.com. I can pull you up real quick. Extensions.com. Okay. So like if I add it to private label, private label is a very powerful website. This thing's been around for when, when did I launch a private label website? I think 2016. So I have a solid eight years, a thousand blog posts, plot products, links from all over press, everything, right? Bump and grind coffee guys is phenomenal. Okay. This, I could publish the blog post on here and it would probably, it could, it could technically probably rank pretty quick. Now here, if I really wanted to go all in on this strategy, I could do this. I could hire another freelancer that's going to write things a little different. And I could post that blog on private label. Now I'm really thinking, how do I really want to maximize my YouTube channel and blogging? I could do it on private label. I could throw it on my other websites that are for starting, running, and managing a hair business, dropship bundles, dropship beauty. Maybe I just, instead of having them all like a hair business blueprint, I have them on a couple different websites. Now we're talking. This is something I might have to do. By the way, any questions, please make sure you leave them in the comments. I will get to it in just a moment. Uh, so you have to start building your strategy. But the key is when you're building this strategy, you want to write it out. You can use Google Sheets. So like we created a Google Sheet for our podcast this week. When I tell you this is ridiculous, anybody want to see it? Let me see if I let me see if I can find it real quick for you. So we spent two days because the Hair Biz Radio podcast is going absolutely viral at this point, which is amazing. It only took seven years, okay, 
the, let me give you guys a little um, look. See, it's not 100% done, but I'm just trying to help you out and share some of my workflows, content, everything else that I'm doing. So this is me building out what happens once a, a video is published. All this happens all over everywhere. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to start building out this kind of workflows in information. There's, there's programs you can do it, but honestly, Google Sheets, it's easy to share and we all have access to it. It's free. So I'm trying to save, I'm like everybody else. I'm trying to save money because when I go to the grocery store, grocery store is taking my money. When I go to the bar, okay, which not as often anymore because I, I got to work. You know, the Casamigos used to be $10. Now it's 15 to 17, $20 with a tip. Okay. The Casamigos is getting me these days. Cup of coffee at the coffee shop's $5. Now I got to make coffee at home, which is fine. I got the bump and grind coffee today. So shout out bump and grind. Actually bump and grind coffee. Uh, let me, I'll pull it up because people ask Mikey, what kind of coffee you drink? I always see you drinking coffee. I, I drink about two to, uh, three coffees a day, by the way, that's about it. So here it is bump and grind coffee. This is actually a guy I went to high school with owns this business. So I support his business. Now, were we friends in high school? I don't think so. I didn't even really like the guy in high school. Okay. But that's okay. I still want to support the guy because we went to high school together. I can't tell you guys enough. If you have friends or family, I think my one of my neighbors walked by. I was like, what the hell is that guy doing? Because I got some lights and other stuff. But hey, I'm I'm a streamer over here, okay? Support your friends, guys. Like, even if they weren't even that best of friends or something in high school, it's okay. Support your friends, business owners, right? They you gotta you gotta support people these days. So anytime someone I know has a business, I try to support them. So I like coffee. It's actually good coffee, though. I mean, that's the one thing I buy when I travel. Is coffee. I try coffee in different places. Okay. So think about creating your workflow for your business. You can do this for every aspect of your business. Um, oh, we got a question. Good question. How many blogs do you recommend in a month? Okay. This is, let me, let me tell you a little backstory on this. So in 2018, I spent a thousand dollars on a class. I never really spent $1,000 on a class. College was like, I went to a few college classes. Not my, I couldn't do college. I just wasn't smart enough. College was about 30 years ago. My classes were only a couple hundred bucks, unlike today where they're, I don't even know. I can't even explain cost of college these days. So I know it's the set. You'll see the segue into your question, uh, Crystal. Spent $1,000 on this course. It was a good course. It was a game changer for me. I needed this course, kind of like hair business masterclass. I put some of that information, put in the masterclass. Okay. I started doing well in the course. And, and one of the main guys who's working with this, like, you know, it's one of the top SEO companies in the world. And he's like, Mikey, let's do some consulting, blah, blah, blah. I ended up hiring these guys as consultants. Very, very expensive. $7,000 a month, $7,000 a month. I was paying. It was worth it. And I said, um, so what do I need to do to become the, like the number one hair website? Right. I was like, I'm, I was like, I'm on fire. I'm publishing 20 blog posts a month. Right. And my consultant said, well, if you want to be number one, you have to publish a hundred blog posts a month until you run out of topics. Me, I'm thinking that's impossible. Right. I ended up having a staff of 30 writers, an editor, someone that all they did was post blog posts all day. Right. I did 100 blog posts a month for eight months, and we were at about a thousand blog posts. We were in search everywhere. Then I switched platforms. That's when I was on days of WordPress. My WordPress site was getting so much traffic, it was like crashing all the time. I had to move over to Shopify Plus Enterprise. As soon as I did that, my all my search traffic everything crashed so yeah start that's why i tell people just get on shopify to start don't waste your time on these other platforms because you'll eventually figure out you're gonna have to switch if you actually grow your business and you're gonna get screwed by seo i would say do as many quality blog posts a month right i thought 100 was impossible but i got it done because i wanted to be number one right so if it's one a week Start with, I would say this, start with one blog post a week, okay? If you can get 
one blog post a week done. Let me put that up there. If you can get one blog post a week done, that's good. That's great. Then once you can do that consistent for a month, see if you can start getting two blog posts a month. Because here's what's good about the, the blog posts, right? The blog posts is what's great about this is you need content. People are always like, Mikey, I need content to post on social media. A blog post, you, you create your blog post, post it on Facebook, post it on threads. Create, so this thumbnail you guys see right here. So this thumbnail, you could take that thumbnail and make it like an Instagram story, right? You could resize it in Canva, put a link, check out my blog post about this topic, right? It's giving you content so you can post about it on social media so things aren't redundant, okay? So that's the key with blogging. It gives you content to educate, to inform, to let people know you're a real person, a real business, okay? So that's really, I would say, the key. So you're going to start with one for now. That's that's perfect, right? Then you challenge yourself and you figure out how you can get to two. Maybe you use my strategy that I talked about in this video, right? Where you are creating YouTube videos and getting those turned into blog posts. Maybe, right? But maybe you can't handle it. So maybe your business is starting to generate revenue and you're going to start reinvesting that revenue into more blog posts, more people to buy, you know, buy your time back. The podcast is awesome. I appreciate that. By the way, guys, the podcast, when I say it's on absolute fuego fire, let me pull this up. I'll show you. Okay. And I show you guys because this is important. Let me, I'm going to give you some stats and this is for anybody. Let me make sure you guys see this full tilt. Okay. Cause it's, Saturday morning and anyone that's actually watching on a Saturday morning, they're all in on their business. I tell you that most people are sleeping right now. I don't have time for that. Well, I get my sleep. I try to go to sleep on time. I don't want to set on time to sleep because sleeping is important. Uh, I'm going to pull this up for you. And this is going to make sense for everybody that is, has started a business. They haven't got much traction, anything else. Okay. So let me find this. If Facebook changes their thing one more time, I'm going to be done with Facebook. Uh, hold on. I was on the wrong page. Sorry, Facebook. I was giving you a hard time and I didn't mean to. I'm going to show you some stats on Hair Biz Red. This is just the Facebook page. This is not even um, this is not even Instagram or other things. But you can see. Let me show you some stats. Let me share because I like to share with you guys. Make sure that you're on point with me. Okay, so let me pull this up. I want to make sure you guys understand that this is important. This is daily. Okay, so we reached about 1.6 million people uh, in the month. But before we started going viral, it was very, very little. Okay, and it was like this for the last six, seven years. Like just wasn't reaching. Okay. We weren't in the algorithm. I don't know the content. People love it. It wasn't in the algorithm. It wasn't until seven years later of posting, 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 right? Actually, let me give you a, um, custom I'll go to 2022. Let's see if it can give it to me. I don't, you can see here, look, I mean, compared to this, Minimum, okay. What what am I trying to show you here? What is the the my objective for showing you this? I'm not trying to show you that I had, you know, reached 1.8 million people. I mean, that's cool and all. I want to show you I was flatlined for seven years of doing this podcast, right? Seven years of doing the podcast before it finally started getting just mad traction, and now everybody's like. People are reaching out. Oh, I want to be on your podcast. I want to be on your podcast. Like I'm getting all these messages, everything else, because now, you know, going viral. So what does that mean? I didn't give up for seven years and I still wouldn't have given up. Even if this didn't go viral, I still wouldn't have given up. In your business, as soon as you give up, it's game over. Okay. That's it. Or if you stop for six months, then you got to start. You're basically starting all over again. It's game over. Yes, that is growth right there, right? So that is the absolute key 
Uh, by the way, real quick, I keep showing everybody this tip, but I know everyone doesn't get to see my videos all the time. Uh, you can go to this section, which is the planner. You can schedule all this stuff out. You can see us posting. For the people that like your videos, you can go here and you can bulk invite, right? Just like this. I do this every day because we're getting thousands and thousands of likes, but you can only invite a thousand a day. So what I'm doing is every day I do this about 10 times. I invite a thousand people to like the Hair Biz Radio Facebook page. Oh, uh, see, I got to wait a little bit longer because it's like warning me. Okay. But what I'm saying is, it is that's just a little a little trick that you can do. So this is kind of like this the e-commerce snowball, which is going to be the name of my new book once I have time doing that. You know, my hair business streamer, being a hair business streamer takes a lot of time. Uh, what I'm saying is, let me pull this up, by the way. Um, you can see the following here. What I'm saying is in order to get a lot of likes, you can see right here, we now have 12,000 followers on Hairbiz Radio. At this point, it's going up a thousand followers a day, maybe even actually a little bit more than a thousand followers a day. So until this video, these videos started going viral and everyone started finding out podcast sharing and everything else, I could maybe invite maybe a couple people a day that liked our videos. But now that it's gone viral, what can I do? Invite a thousand a day. This is called the e-commerce snowball, right? This is meaning that I couldn't, it, it's because we continue to do this for so long and now allows me to invite more people to the page to like the page. So the page growth is going exponential at this point, this way, whichever way you want, okay? It's now growing exponential. It never would have done that if I didn't keep going for years and years and years, okay? So now that it is going really quick, I have to maximize every opportunity within this growth and within this opportunity. So I invite a thousand people a day, not a thousand are gonna like it, but I'm probably getting 50 to a hundred of them are liking it at this point because they really like the content. They're going back, they're watching the other videos. I'm watching the other videos are now getting tons of views, okay? So that's the key. It might take you a couple years to start reaching some success. The more, and the thing that's gonna get you there faster is the things that I teach you in these videos, because this is stuff that's worked for me that has grown our business exponentially. To give an example, where I am today, if, if someone said, Mikey, I'm taking everything away, you gotta start in the hair industry from scratch today, right? I've been doing this for 10 years straight. I've been consistent in the hair industry for 10 straight years. Want to make sure you guys understand that 10 years, day in, day out. I mean, it's I'm in freaking year 10 and it's Saturday, 830 and I'm still streaming about the hair business. If that gives you any indication of my dedication to my clients, to educating you guys, to growing my business for us to for us to grow and bring more people with us. OK, that's dedication. But it, where I am in 10 years, if I had to redo it again. I could probably do it in three to five because I'm a much better entrepreneur at this point. I've been through hell and back. I've learned a whole lot in that time. So I'm saying that because I want you guys to understand that the faster you can learn these things, the faster you can implement these techniques and something I might be saying might not be exactly perfect for you, but what it can do is maybe it sparks a little interest in something that you're doing in your business, whether you're in the hair industry or not, that you can maybe implement. Maybe you do a little tweak, right? The key is efficiency and consistency, not giving up and having a good cup of coffee, loving life, working with others, enjoying your friends, enjoying your family. I don't get to see them enough. I'm trying. Um, that's about it, guys. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful day. Please feel free to reach out. You can find me on Instagram, Moran, Mikey. I'll see you guys soon.